So sometimes in a spreadsheet you'll get things not work right. So I'm going to work through some of the issues on this particular one. The first one we have is if you look at some of these columns, they're not really wide enough. We have highest number is set one and set two here is very close to the edge there. Um, these have filters on, but you can all you can see is data. The word data. I'm going to just take the filters off just to demonstrate this. Let me just take these off. So we've got data, data, and actually that's data set one and data set two. Um, and in this add column, we've got these hash signs. The reason we get these hash signs is because we formatted the numbers as currency, but the column isn't wide enough to display it. So rather than round it down or do something like that, it just shows the hash marks as a warning. The easiest way to fix these problems, if you want to fix one particular problem, I'm going to fix column A here, where it's got highest number in set one and set two is too close to the edge there. We just need to go up to the dividing line between the, the column headers here. If you look at this line between A and B, your cursor will change to a cross with left and right arrows. Just left click when you've got that cursor and drag to the right a little bit. And that will make it wider. You can make it as wide as you want, obviously, or as narrow as you want. Um, the easiest thing to do, though, is to just double click on that. And that will automatically fit it to that data. You can select more than one column and do this. So if I left click on the A at the top, for instance, and hold the mouse button, move over to the last column like that, I've now selected all those columns. If I double click on any of these dividing lines now, it should make the data columns fit the data. So like that. Now we fix that problem with the hashes. We can also clearly read all the headers as we should have been able to in the beginning. This um, sheet also has a problem, it's showing dollars. Now I don't know the person whose um, machine may, be, may have been set up to use dollars as the default currency, the, but it's showing custom here. So what I'd recommend, always try setting your currency like this. So I'm just gonna set, do it on this first cell just to show you. So I'm in B4 at the moment. Just click on the number format choice there. So we can choose what we want. There's one for currency, that's the one we're going to use. And on my machine that's configured and it shows pounds. It may be that the person who's, who did this didn't have that set up. So there's another way of doing this to make sure you've got the right symbol. Let me just undo that. Again, we go to the number and we choose our option here. We're going to go to more number formats. And we've got a range of different formatting. I'm looking for currency and I can actually pick the symbol that I want to use there. So make sure you've got pounds selected. You can also show how many decimal places you want to. This has previously been formatted to zero decimal places. So that's right. So make sure you've got pound there, click on OK, and that will change the symbol over for you. We can do that to more than one cell. Obviously we can select all of the cells and then go to more number formats, currency, and change this to pound there. And then I'm going to do the same for these here. I'm going to just use the currency for mine, but and that will fix that. And then the final problem with this one, you can't actually see it very well. well you can't see it at the moment because it's in the formulas. If you look at the, uh, for example, the add, I'm on row four, D4. Um, I'll double click so you can see it. It says equal sum B4 to C4. If we're adding two numbers, we don't do it that way. We just do equals, and then you can either type or click on the first number. So equals whatever's in B4 plus whatever's in C4. If you're doing more than two numbers, then you would use the sum function, which, you've, which has been used here correctly. So this is adding all of these numbers up, and that's right, using sum. So the rule is you only use sum when you're adding more than two numbers. Unfortunately, on this sheet, we've also got equal sum B4 minus C4. Now, remember the sum, sum function doesn't tell Excel to do a sum or to do a calculation. It tells it specifically to do a sum, which is to add numbers. We don't need this. We can just replace the sum. And for these simple calculations, it's just simply equals. That tells Excel we want to do some work with these values. And what I want this cell to equal is whatever's in B4 minus whatever's in C4. 
I'm going to change that as well. Let's multiply. Same thing. And the same for divide. One way of thinking about the sum function is effectively what it does, invisible to you, it, show, it just adds a plus sign between the numbers in between the brackets. So if you've got sum 1, 2, it will put a plus sign in there. If you've got sum these three numbers, it takes these numbers and puts a plus sign in between. So that's all it's doing. Okay, so I've fixed that. Now, because I've fixed that, I'm going to just take these calculations and replicate them down to make sure. And you see the number doesn't change. It gives the right answer. But in the functional skills exam, if you did that, you could potentially, certainly at level two, you would lose a mark because it's not the most efficient way of doing it. These are all okay. And that's it. Apart from that, this is absolutely perfect.